everybody. So Gianna has officially gotten the 3D printing bug. And I know there's been a lot of chatter about it lately and she has been making some awesome, awesome stuff. So I figured maybe you guys would like to have a look at it. So let's go over here and have her show us some of the cool stuff that she's made. Hey guys, so here we are with some of the terrain that I've been able to print on our 3D printers. So as you can see, there's some pretty impressive terrain and other accessories that we've been able to print with our printers. So we have two printers currently. We have a small, uh, inexpensive one that I first got just so we could get into 3D printing without a large investment to see how practical it would be for gamers. So I printed a couple of the miniatures here on that printer and these are the ones that came in the uh, reroll as a free download uh, these are the lizard men from fat dragon games and as you can see they're not too bad um, they're not going to replace gw anytime soon but to be fair these were printed at a high speed with a lower resolution so you know they they're okay they will do in a, in a pinch uh, this other one i printed was printed on the same machine and this is a different kind of plastic that was printable and it came out kind of glossy so the details a little bit lost in it uh, again low resolution just as a fast print this took roughly 30 minutes to print on the machine so what you see here dawn's favorite new card game these are awesome so these are dice trays for star wars destiny the new card dice game from fantasy fight games and these printed on our bigger machine these take roughly 30, 33 hours to print. Uh, they hold a total of 82, 84 dice in there. Don't be doing the math. Yeah. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. As you can see, she's already filled one. I had to go and print a second one. Uh, it's got the real nice lo logo and Star Wars and the Millennium Falcon on it. Um, they're really nice. Ben, you're going to be getting a red one in the mail soon. Awesome. So we're... I'm printing that up. I had one started and it kind of fizzled on me, so I have to reprint it. That's one thing you need to learn about 3D printing is that you need patience. 3D printing is not fast. You have to be able to understand what it is you're printing, understand your machine, and take your time. When you start rushing yourself, you get frustrated, things don't turn out, and you may give up on the hobby. So a couple of the buildings I've been able to print, these are from printablescenery.com. Uh, this is a Kickstarter I backed. They now have these up uh, for general release. So you can go up and pay a few dollars for the file and then uh, download it to your printer. And you can see this is the uh, Winterdale Small Village House. Um, really beautiful models. That's one of the things when it comes to printing 3D. Not only do you need a good machine and good filament, but you need a good quality file to print from. And these are outstanding. One thing you need to know about this is... Make sure you understand what file you're printing, uh, because I did not need to print this as a full solid block. I chose the wrong file, so now it's solid. You could it's kill both somebody with it. and a weapon. At it is. It, it can be your Viking hatchet. <laughs> so this took a lot longer and a lot more plastic than it needed to. Um, but this allows you to, you know, take it apart for storage or for playing uh, games where you have characters inside. These are 28 millimeter scale. Uh, fantasy. I think they're gorgeous. They'll paint up real nice. This one here, uh, I should tell you, this one took about 45 hours or so to print total. And the, that was with Mega Fill. With Mega Fill. So. <laughs> so it's not fair. This one here is kind of, this is the first one I printed in as far as the Winterdale scenery. This is the water mill and it comes in several different pieces. So you can see uh, to allow for interior play. Um, now, some of you may be wondering why it's in different colors. The truth is, is that this is the color I started out with, this light blue. I ran out of that mid-print. I added the gray, hoping that they would stick together because this is actually a different kind of plastic. This blue plastic and this dark blue plastic are what's called PLA. So they um, are made out of like sugar cane and uh, sugar beets, so it's a renewable plastic. This is ABS, so the actual plastic, a lot of plastic items that you buy from the store are made out of, and it requires a higher heat, so they don't always stick so well, and that's why you see a little bit of separation at the edges, but all in all, it printed all right. So, I mean, it did a good job. We can fill those cracks in with terrain. Uh, you know, we can put vines or something. Oops. Um, but it printed really nice. This total model here was over 100 hours to print. So... 
like I said, it's not fast and people go, well, why would I do that? I can go to the store and buy a kit and put it together. Yes, you can do that. But this total cost here, uh, minus the Kickstarter fee, so that once you have the file of the plastic, this is probably $10 US, what, seven pounds-ish? Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty awesome. 3D printing, is it going to replace miniatures right now? No, it is not. It's 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 slow. The detail isn't there yet. I mean, there's a printer we've been looking at. It's a resin printer. It uses a laser, and it builds the layers upside down. It prints at a much higher level, but it's so expensive. It's $3,000 or but so. But it's like the Terminator. It's like and Terminator. It's awesome. It really is. Yeah. So I'm going to paint this up, and then I'll do a follow-up article. But read the article we have below. Um, look at the pictures. Get the background on it. See if 3D printing is for you. Because if you have the time and a little bit of energy, you can print some beautiful terrain or some awesome game pieces and even some miniatures. And you'll have an extra dimension to your gaming. So read the article below. Let us know if you want more articles like this. Um, and we'll see you later.